So, first thing, what was your interest in the NFL prior to the academy? Mate, so I've followed uh, American football since I was five. So actually the same year I started playing rugby, I, I started following the NFL. It's pure coincidence that a mate of mine said, do I want to come down and play rugby? I said yes. And then another mate of mine at the time, uh, whose uncle played for the Bears, um, gave him a helmet at some stage and yeah. doing show and tell, he came in and uh, bought the American football so helmet. Could have been so different. Well, that was it. I mean, I was, I was, <laughs> I was invested in, uh, in the Bears because of this helmet. Um, and, you know, two years later, so what, 85, Super Bowl 20, Bears obviously won it. Um, sadly, that meant they, they peaked then, and, and my, my support of them has, has, not, has not faded, but they haven't quite reached the Well, they the same haven't heights. gone back yet. But but, the good um, thing about the NFL is that usually they come round again eventually. Don't yeah, they? yeah, well, they, they had a Super yeah. Bowl. They got to the, the final, didn't they? Yeah. A couple of years ago. But, um, but yeah, so I've always, I've always been a mad fan of it, you know, Super Bowl parties, watching the game. I was going to say, have you seen any live games? Or just been the TV? Browns, the Vikings. Um, like Twickenham. Year, Twickenham. Yeah. I want to see the Bears. The Bears are coming over this year. I'm yeah. To see the Bears. Everybody's trying to get tickets for that one. Yeah, so um but I've only ever seen one live game. I've always said I'm gonna go over for a Super Bowl. I got tickets a couple of years ago, but um, you know, family and what have you. But yeah, it's Sadly, hard, yeah, yeah it's very hard these days. Yeah, absolutely. Um so what do you think of the work at the Academy? What have you seen so far? Do you know what? As a guy that's loved NFL, to, to come into an environment and I hope I'm I hope they feel that I'm being respectful enough because, you know, there's guys that have been playing for seven years, four years, long time playing the game and, and for them this opportunity is unbelievably special. But it is for me as well. And and I appreciate that the guys, you know, have given me a Jags helmet and I feel totally undeserving of it, you know. <laughs> it was my first my first run out with uh, with pads, but I hope that they feel that I'm I'm respecting the you know the colours and, uh, and yeah. the jersey because yeah. I, I, I am honestly a true fan and uh, and just trying to get stuck in and enjoy it because I don't know what I'm doing you yeah. know it's like a baby into so the is it hard water. kitting up to begin with then and to know where <laughs> it all goes to, I had to get strapped in which is rather <laughs> embarrassing I've never had to be dressed to go out onto the pitch before but um, oh man it was uh, it's cool like everything's a, a new experience and, and to be here and, and the coaches right you got Tony Vassell you got Mark Brunel you got, yeah big got, names yeah uh, it's yeah. so cool right? it's so cool you know, it's like a, you know, it's like a, me as a as a youngster having, you know, been immersed in rugby. You yeah. know, suddenly getting a chance to, to yeah. go and play with uh, Martin Johnson and yeah. Neil back. You know, oh, Martin Johnson was keen on the NFL though, wasn't he? Well, he's yeah. a proper stato. I've played with Jono for, for decades, and uh, and he was a proper stato. I mean, his team were the 49ers, and what he didn't know about the 49ers, you know, doesn't doesn't bear thinking about. He's uh, he was obsessed with it, and that's why we we uh, we got to do so many sort of uh, sessions post post play and so our warm downs instead of the the I don't even know what you call that sadly but the line training, yeah, training yeah. warm down yeah. we'd be we'd be throwing American football passes <laughs> and it was quality one of us ended up getting smashed. And how did you become aware of the Academy? Uh, so I've, I've known it's been going on for a long time, just because of you know social media. And uh. I see uh, NFL UK as well. I've seen that recently with Christian and just for a, a love of the game. So my brother-in-law actually, who uh, who who was working for a company locally, said, "Mate, look, this has come up. I know you love. Yeah, do you want to do a chance it? To kiss like, you also <laughs> want to do it. Let me in there." And what have you been your differences that you found from your previous perception of playing football? Now you've got the kids on. Um, just that it's a lot more technical than I think I ever really appreciated, and sadly that my legs don't move as fast as I as I think as I thought they still did. Um, you know, whether it's nervous energy or whatever it is, but um, you're reading the plays, you're not quite getting to them as quick. Um, but an appreciation for how much knowledge you have to have and understand because it's there's so many routines and it's it's like rehearsing a dance. You yeah, know? you've got to work as a as a unit, whether you're the defensive line, the linebackers, whoever you are, you're working together to try and nullify. So, so all that terminology is it coming to you? you think? Slowly, 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 slowly. I'm picking it up and. So the, the the coaches they're going, you know, cover two and you're going, okay. Yeah, I'm just running around, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just running around. But um, I'm having a good time. I was just annoyed, I only got to make one that bit, uh, Yeah, I, I did see. And what was the instruction? Don't take them to the ground? Yeah, it's, you couldn't resist. It's you? just a it's habit because in, in rugby, we're taught to finish, you go through to the finish, while certainly we were. I mean, it's probably yeah, changed since yeah, yeah. then. 
So I can only apologise to the guys. It's just <laughs> the last thing I want to do is injure anyone. I had enough bloody injuries myself. Yeah, absolutely. So what position you've been trying out at linebacker, wasn't it? Linebacker, yeah. yeah. So I've been playing uh, middle linebacker. So and you, you think about trying other positions, or are you just going to stick to that one? Because you know, I'd love to actually gonna... touch the ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get those interceptions. But no, and... <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, true. true. Could trap further. I could have, had, I could have had one. If you did, I, yeah. You had triple if, coverage around him, and you missed it. Oh, yeah, it was shocking. <laughs> absolutely shocking. But, do it. That's why. But that's why it's fun. You're learning something new as you as you go, and you're gaining a healthy respect for how hard it is. You know, I think as a professional athlete, having been a professional athlete, you have a, maybe a, a disproportionate belief in your ability to be able to play any other professional sport. Yeah. Until you go into it, like I did boxing once <laughs> against a world champion. I was like, I was quite good with my fists, and I was absolutely schooled. And the same here, you know, we've got. It just it's a it's yeah, a it's the, it's the gap, isn't it, yeah, between which is uh, great, though, the amateur and the professional? I mean, and these aren't professionals, obviously, either. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. But they've just been playing long, longer, yeah. and you know, you get that, you know, get that experience. So, who else do you think in rugby would make a good transition to American football? Oh, that's a good question. I know Joan Lomu, uh, the Cowboys tried to tried to scout Lomu after the '95 World Cup. I mean, he would have been phenomenal. Mm. A lot of the Island boys. You know, the, the Samoans, the Tuolangi family probably could have had an entire American football team of, of, of their own right. Um, a few linemen there. Yeah, there's a, there's a good few Kiwis playing the game. The Savea brothers, Artie and, uh, and Julian, um, quick, strong, powerful. Um, there's there's probably a number of boys, but I think you, you have to... The knowledge is the hardest thing, so you just have to spend so much time doing it. It would be up. Yeah. So as you say, most of the people here have been playing football for a few years, most of them from the UK. What do you know of the football in the UK? As an American football mm. in the UK, uh, well, obviously having an affiliation and affinity with the Bears when when William Perry came over with the Monarchs in you know ninety five ninety four, I started uh, started watching the NFL UK. Some of my mates started going to um, the Claymores and various different teams as kickers. Mm -hmm. um, so I've, I've followed it. I have to admit, now my knowledge of it is 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 rather vague, other than going and watching the games that come over here. Obviously, the Europe. Um, you know, league is, is closed down. So having the actual NFL here, in yeah. my eyes, is much more yeah. important. Yeah. So you could have some local games. There's some really good ones around here. There's some London yeah. Blitz and I London the, Warriors. The, the unis of uh, Bath, Bath, where I'm based, have a university site. Yeah, well, they've got a couple, actually. Bath, mm. Bath and um, the other one. Yeah, I think the <laughs> Bath. Yeah, what is it? Bath. Bath the Union, Bath yeah, Bar, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you should get down 16 there. 16 years getting smashed in the head. You, I mean, you do well down there as well. <laughs> I'm 41, mate. It's not, uh, it's not, it's not the right age. You to haven't start seen in. them, have you? Not the right, yeah, <laughs> There's a few true, people yeah. still playing. Right we started now. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for your time, though. Cheers, it's been a pleasure. Thanks, Cheers. Nice to meet you. Before we go, can I get a picture of you and the helmet as well, please? Sure. Thank you.